This is at least one fact on every country in the world. Let's start with Yemen. The only country in the world to start with the letter Y. There is an ancient city called Shaban, known as the Manhattan of the Desert. It features tall, mud-brick buildings that are over 500 years old. Qatar is the only country starting with the letter Q. In Qatar you can find al Qura, a stunning island with a huge mangrove forest. The first place in the world to produce purple shellfish dye, which is why it's known as Purple Island. Qatar also hosted the World Cup in 2022, becoming the smallest country and the first Arab country ever to host the tournament. Most people might have put their bets on Brazil, as they have won the most out of any other country in the world. Brazil has a long stretch of coastline. It shares a border with every South American country except Ecuador and Chile. Chile is an interesting country, as its borders are unlike any other in the world. It's largely vertical rather than horizontal, and is actually the world's narrowest country. But the country lies on what's known as the Ring of Fire, a region of intense geological activity around the rim of the Pacific Ocean. Here you will find lots of volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. The world's most powerful earthquake happened in Chile in 1960. With a magnitude of 9.5 on the Richter scale, it lasted for 11 minutes and caused 6,000 casualties. That's the largest earthquake, but in Indonesia is where we can find the largest volcanic eruption, and also the loudest sound ever recorded. The eruption of Krakatoa in 1883 is estimated to have reached 310 decibels, 150 decibels is what's needed to rupture eardrums. It was loud enough to be heard 5,000 kilometers or around 3,000 miles away. The entire island was decimated to sea level. Indonesia has over 17,000 islands with the most active volcanoes in the world, but also has a vast plethora of wildlife. This island here, Borneo, is politically divided between Indonesia, Malaysia and Brunei. Brunei has one of the highest car ownership rates in the world, but the Sultan of Brunei has over 5,000 cars, including 20 Lamborghinis, 160 Porsches, 360 Ferraris, 170 Jaguars and 360 Bentleys. He is very rich, the second richest royal in the world behind the King of Thailand. He has an estimated worth of 30 billion. However, Mali was home to the richest person ever. Mansa Musa was the first king of Timbuktu and ruled the Mali Empire. He had a fortune of around 400 billion in today's money. His wealth was derived from the country's vast deposits of salt, gold and slaves. Mauritania became the last country to abolish slavery in 1981. Do you know what else happened in 1981? The famous reggae singer Bob Marley passed away. He was from Jamaica. In 1655, the original capital of Jamaica, Port Royal, was a pirate safe haven in the Caribbean. However, it slid into the ocean during an earthquake. Largely intact, it is now a museum. The Bahamas was also known for piracy. The port of Nassau was the base of operations for the Republic of Pirates. However, now it's just known as a place to swim with piglets. The Bahamas is one of only two countries in the world that officially have the attached to its name. The other is Gambia. The Gambia was named after the Gambia River that flows through the heart of the country. Interestingly, Gambians used to cast votes in elections with marbles instead of paper ballots. Speaking of elections, in Liberia, the biggest fraudulent election ever was held by Charles D.B. King. He was elected president with 234,000 votes in a country that only had 15,000 registered voters. Bordering Liberia is Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone translates to Lion Mountains. Legend has it a Portuguese explorer was in the region. He experienced a huge thunderstorm that reminded him of a lion's roar. Portuguese sailors explored many places in the 15th century, one of which was Cape Verde. Cape Verde is made up of 10 islands, and half a million people live here. Before colonization, the islands were uninhabited. The country's economy relies heavily on tourism, but the country with the most tourism is France. France's famous French fries are not actually French, they come from Belgium. 
In 2003, some members of the US Congress and American public renamed French fries to Freedom Fries in protest to France's opposition on the Iraq War. Iraq has the world's oldest mask in the world that depicts a human face. Saddam Hussein, who was the leader of Iraq at the time, commissioned a cartographer to write a copy of the Quran, but not with ink. He commissioned it to be produced in blood. Saddam Hussein took 27 litres of his own blood to then store it in a mosque. Speaking of crazy world leaders, Turkmenistan once had a slightly mad president. He made a number of strange laws, including banning opera, banishing dogs from the capital city, ordered the closing of all libraries outside the capital, and changed the name of bread, replacing it with his mother's name. Kazakhstan, once part of the Soviet Union, had the first artificial satellite, and the first man sent into space. Clearly, not your average Stan. What does Stan mean? It means place of, or where one stands. It is found in the names of several countries, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Pakistan, Uzbekistan, and Tajikistan. In Tajikistan, you can find beautiful textiles using traditional techniques passed down throughout the generations. Look at these vibrant colour, they're amazing. Kyrgyzstan is more distant from the ocean than any other nation, at 1,620 miles. The flag of Kiribati is often referred to as the flag of the ocean, because it features a blue and white wave pattern that symbolises the Pacific Ocean. Kiribati is the first country in the world to ring in the new year. The country is furthest ahead of Greenwich Mean Time by GMT plus 14. Kiribati has a group of eight atolls and two submerged coral reefs called the Phoenix Islands. The mythical phoenix is actually the national bird of Lebanon. Hummus comes from Lebanon. They made a massive bowl of it to get into the Guinness Book of World Records so people could recognise it came from the country. Speaking of food, in Syria, you can find the world's largest restaurant, but in Mongolia, you can find korakog. Korakog? A Mongolian barbecue dish. It is a cuisine offered on special occasions. Mongolia once had the world's largest land continuous empire, stretching over 900 million square miles from Eastern Europe to the Japanese Sea. In Azerbaijan, you can find the Burning Mountain, a natural glowing fire burning on the hillside along the Caspian Sea. In Gabon, there is a natural nuclear fission reactor, the only one known in the world. 80% of the people here speak French. France is the most visited country in the world. On the other end of the spectrum, Sao Tome Principe is one of the least visited countries, only receiving 8,000 tourists a year. One place I want to visit is space. Djibouti has plans to construct the first spaceport in Africa. The capital of Djibouti is Djibouti City. But did you know there's a mall in the capital of Moldova, and it's called Mall Dover? Saudi Arabia actually has the world's largest mall in the world. However, it is illegal to drink alcohol in Saudi Arabia. The country that drinks the most beer in the world, though, is the Czech Republic. It has topped the list for almost 30 years straight since 1993. Prague, the country's capital, is one of the only major cities not bombed heavily during World War II. Belgrade in Serbia, one of the oldest cities in Europe, has been fought over in 115 wars and has been razed 44 times. Singapore is a city-state, where buildings cannot be built higher than 280 metres. But Singapore actually has the highest home ownership rate in the world at 92%. Before the United Kingdom took the title, they actually had the largest game of pass the parcel record in the world, removing 2,200 wrappers in the space of two and a half hours. Singapore is one of only three city-states left in the world, the others being Monaco and Vatican City. Monaco is famous for casinos, however its citizens cannot gamble. You probably know that Vatican City is the smallest country in the world, but did you know the Pope is protected by 135 Swiss soldiers, known as the Swiss Guard? They were first hired in 1506 by Pope Julius II, who needed personal protection from enemies of the Church. Switzerland has the least amount of public holidays of any country. 
It has a total of 7 to 15 public holidays, depending on the canton or region you're from. On the other hand, Myanmar has the most, with 32 public holidays. Myanmar was invaded by Japan in World War II, but now, in Japan, you can find one vending machine for every 24 people. Japan also has the highest life expectancy in the world, with over 1 million people being over the age of 90. Meanwhile, Chad has the lowest life expectancy, at just 53 years. The fertility rate in Niger is estimated to be 6.91 children per woman, the highest in the world. Nigeria has the largest economy in Africa. With a population of 220 million, it's by far the most populous country in Africa. It surged from 95 million in 1990 to over 201 million in 2019. The city that has the highest population density in the world, though, is Manila in the Philippines. In the Philippines, they have the Chocolate Hills. Well, not literally, but you get the gist. The Philippines is the largest Christian nation in Asia, with more than 86% of the population being Roman Catholic. Speaking of Catholics... There are three countries named after saints. St. Kitts and Nevis is the smallest country in the Americas. St. Vincent and the Grenadines are home to the oldest botanical gardens in the Western Hemisphere, established in 1765 in Kingston. St. Lucia is the only country in the world to be named after a woman, named after St. Lucy of Syracuse, when the French sailors landed on the islands in 1502 on St. Lucy's Day. But did you know in Belarus they celebrate Christmas? twice. In 2014, a Belarusian company released the largest truck in the world. At a height of 8.7 metres and a carrying capacity of 450 tonnes, Barbados is known as the land of the flying fish. The fish there can glide for 45 seconds at speeds of more than 40 miles per hour. Dominica is home to a frog known as the mountain chicken. Official name is the giant ditch frog but it's known locally as the mountain chicken because, well, it tastes like chicken. Dominica has the colour purple in its flag, just like Nicaragua. Nicaragua is known as the land of volcanoes and lakes, due to its numerous active volcanoes and beautiful lakes. In 1969, Honduras and El Salvador had a football match. When El Salvador beat Honduras for the critical World Cup spot, a war started that lasted 100 hours and killed more than 2,000 people. El Salvador has the most murders in the world. But I don't just want to give a negative fact, so it's the first country in the world to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. North Korea has stolen billions in crypto. It's also the most secretive country in the world. Its neighbour, South Korea, has the lowest fertility rate. South Korea used to also consume the most ramen noodles, but was dethroned by Vietnam. Vietnam consume 87 bowls of ramen each year. During the Vietnam War, the North Vietnamese used a network of tunnels to evade troops and American bombs. They were built for short people. East Timor has the shortest people in the world. East Timor is the only Portuguese-speaking country in Asia. In 1502, a Portuguese explorer, Vasco da Gama, discovered the Seychelles. The two main islands actually became a hideout for nautical outlaws. It is said that a pirate buried some stolen Portuguese treasure here, and two men have dedicated their lives to finding this treasure, which is currently valued at $1.4 billion. The Maldives, the flattest country in the world, that is sadly expected to disappear in the year 2050 due to rising sea levels. Another nation at risk is the Federated States of Micronesia, who have Nan Madol. Built between the 13th and 16th century, it's the only ancient site built on a coral reef. It's home to the remains of stone palaces, temples and tombs, dating back over a thousand years. Eritrea was once part of the ancient kingdom of Aksum. Here they built tall towers, elaborately carved with inscriptions, stone doors and fake windows. The kingdom played an important role in trade routes between the Middle East and the Roman Empire. One of the largest Roman amphitheatres in the world is in Tunisia. El Gem was built in 238 AD and is quite impressive. Many of the scenes from Star Wars were filmed in Tunisia. 
the United Arab Emirates is also aiming for the stars. On the 9th of February 2021, the United Arab Emirates became the fifth country to reach Mars and the second country to successfully enter its orbit on its first try. The world's tallest building is here too, the Burj Khalifa. The skyscraper is 828 meters high. The Capitol Gate in Abu Dhabi is also the world's most inclined building. It has 35 floors and boasts an 18 degree lean, which is four times more than the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Italy has an iconic history. It was the birthplace of the Roman Empire and the Renaissance. It has more World Heritage Sites than any other country. And the Italians also invented pizza in Naples. Slovenia has more governmental subdivisions than there are nations in the UN. The oldest wheel in the world was discovered in Slovenia in 2002, and it's over 5,000 years old. Slovakia, Slovenia, they're quite similar names. For a long time, Slovakia and Slovenia would exchange wrongly addressed mail. In Slovakia, you can find a unique natural phenomenon, Devil's Rock. But in Poland, the largest gathering of people with medical ear implants was achieved in 2012. 557 people took part in a bid to raise awareness on how implants can help people whose hearing has been impaired. Approximately 2 million people joined hands to form a human chain, spanning 430 miles across the three Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, who were at the time occupied and annexed by the USSR. The Baltic Way was a peaceful, political protest. Lithuania and Poland were once united as a single state, the Poland-Lithuanian Commonwealth. They once had a cavalry unit called the Winged Hussars. They carried 19-foot-long lances, and their armour had feathered wings designed to emit loud noise while charging. They once defeated a Russian army four times their size, in 1610. Lithuania in the 14th century once had a duke, a grand duke, who once dressed up as a woman to escape prison. Strangely, in 1524, a statue of the Virgin Mary at the cathedral in Riga was accused of being a witch. They put the statue on trial by throwing it into a river. Since it floated, it was declared guilty and burned. And therefore... A witch! A witch! A witch! A witch! A witch! Not as crazy as what happened in Ghana in 1997, though. The capital of Ghana rioted over accusations of penis-snatching wizards. Several people, or wizards, were kidnapped by mobs who accused them of using magic handshakes to kidnap penises and hold them for ransom. <laughs> Côte d'Ivoire was once called the Teeth Coast due to its trade in ivory. Burkina Faso has one ethnic group called the Bobo, who make large butterfly masks painted in striped red, white and black, which are used to invoke a deity in fertility ceremonies. Tongo's capital city is considered one of the most beautiful cities in West Africa, and used to be referred to as the Paris of West Africa. Tonga has an island, which used to be called Tin Can Island, because the only way ships could get mail to the island was by putting the mail in a tin and throwing it to the island. Samoans were among the earliest tattoo artists and are considered to be among the best in the world. Tattoos here are filled with meaning and history across Polynesia. Cannibalism was practiced in Vanuatu until relatively recently. The last recorded cannibal killing was in 1969. In the same year, the House of Lords voted to abolish the death penalty in England, Wales and Scotland. The UK is short for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. It is a sovereign state made up of four countries, England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. In Northern Ireland there is a plateau of basalt slabs called Giant's Causeway, a result of lava contracting and fracturing as it cooled. The mythological explanation for its origins is that two giants were fighting from Ireland and Scotland. On the island of Orkney in Scotland is the oldest building in Britain. It's actually the most complete Neolithic village in Europe. Before the Act of Union, where England and Scotland joined as one to form the United Kingdom of Great Britain, Scotland established two settlements, 
but both were unsuccessful. New Scotland, or Nova Scotia as it was called in its Latin charter, is now a province in Canada. Canada has the longest coastline in the world, and the longest undefended international border, over 5,000 miles. On the flag is a maple leaf. 80% of the world's maple syrup is produced here. And Canadians are also the largest consumer of donuts. The eastern point of Canada is closer to Croatia than it is to Vancouver. Shakespeare's Twelfth Night was set in Dalmatia, a historic region located on the eastern shore of the Adriatic Sea. If it sounds familiar, a Dalmatian is a dog breed, named after this region. But in Cyprus, cats outnumber humans, with 1.5 million cats on the island. A separate Turkish Cypriot state, the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, has existed since 1983, but is only recognised by Turkey. In Turkey, there are no native camels, but there's an annual camel wrestling festival. There is also an agreement between Turkey and Greece, called Earthquake Diplomacy. After multiple earthquakes hit both countries in 1999, they agreed to help each other when earthquakes hit, no matter how their relations are. Greece has more archaeological museums than any other country in the world. When the Nazis invaded the country in World War II, the museum in Athens buried all of the statues and artefacts in special protective boxes and concrete fortified trenches. When Napoleon invaded Egypt, the Rosetta Stone was found. It was inscribed in Greek and hieroglyphics. Because of this, we were able to decipher the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. While many people think of ancient Egypt for the pyramids, Sudan has more, with over 250 pyramids. South Sudan is the youngest country in the world, becoming a country in 2011. But Denmark has the Denebro, the oldest flag in the world. Denmark also has the two oldest amusement parks, and often ranks as one of the happiest nations in the world. It's also where Lego was invented. Sweden is home to an ice hotel in the village of Jokersjavi. Sweden also has the most islands in the world, with over 200,000 islands. There is a historic rivalry between Sweden and Denmark. Denmark invented Lego, but Sweden is where Minecraft was invented. If you're interested in caves, you can visit Veryovkina, a cave in Georgia. This cave reaches a depth of over 2,000 meters and is the deepest cave on Earth. In some caves, you can find gold. The Solomon Islands were named because the explorer who discovered them thought he had found the land where King Solomon had acquired his gold. But Uzbekistan has the world's largest gold mine. It's also a country that is double landlocked. It is one of only 22 countries that the British Empire did not invade. The walls of Benin, one of Africa's ancient architectural marvels, was destroyed by the British in 1897. Barely any traces of these walls exist today. One of the oldest Mayan pyramids was destroyed by a construction company in Belize while they were building a road. Belize also has the Great Blue Hole, the world's largest sea sinkhole. It's an enormous 400 feet deep and nearly a thousand feet across. In Mexico, you can find the largest pyramid in the world. The nearly 1,500 wide Pyramids of Cholula is as big as nine Olympic-sized swimming pools at its base, four times the size of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Mexico's main export is cars, but they have nothing on German prowess. The automotive industry in Germany is one of the best in the world. The top-selling German car brands are Audi, BMW, Mercedes, and Volkswagen. In San Marino, they have 1,300 motor vehicles per 100 people. The country was founded by a stonemason in 301 AD. It is a micronation, landlocked by Italy. Italy once invaded Ethiopia. Ethiopia was victorious and secured itself as being the only African nation to resist European colonization. Lucy was discovered in Ethiopia, a 3.2 million year old skeleton of an early human ancestor. The Central African Republic is the world's hungriest country. In the Republic of Congo, Odzela National Park helps in the conservation of forest elephants and western gorillas. 
There are actually two Congos. Both countries gained independence in 1960, but were colonised by different countries. The Democratic Republic of the Congo is by natural resources the richest country in the world. It has an estimated 24 trillion in untapped resources. However, it is consistently ranked as one of the poorest countries per capita. The Congo was once a possession of King Leopold II of Belgium. He committed many horrific atrocities prior to being absorbed by the Belgian government. Belgium has the longest period without a government. Who borders Belgium? Luxembourg. If you visit Luxembourg in late February, you will see burning crosses all across the country. This is an ancient Celtic tradition, which is meant to chase away winter and welcome spring. There is also Vinden Castle, which is pretty nice. But in Wales, there's over 600 castles. One castle for every 5,200 people. Mount Everest is named after a Welshman, Sir George Everest. Within the Himalayas, you will find Bhutan. Bhutan is the only country in the world that uses gross national happiness as a measure of progress and development, rather than gross domestic product. Bhutan introduced TV in 1990. It was banned until then because the government feared it would corrupt the Buddhist way of life in the country. Also in 1990, Tuvalu released the rights to the name TV, which trebled the country's income. This is because the domain name for TV is actually the country code domain for Tuvalu. Tuvalu has a Union Jack on its flag, just like Fiji, where one can locate a highly venomous black and white banded sea snake, ten times more venomous than that of a rattlesnake. When thinking of deadly animals wanting to kill you, most people think of Australia. The country is the only place in the world to find kangaroos. You'll also find the Great Barrier Reef, the largest ecosystem in the world. Australia has the most national parks of any nation. In Cameroon, you'll find the Corrup National Park Forest, a natural wonder that has stood for more than 60 million years. At the foot of Mount Cameroon, it rains a lot. But more Sinram in India is the wettest place on Earth, with an average rainfall of 11,800 millimetres. The earliest flushing toilets with a connecting common sewage system were used by the Indus Valley Civilization in modern-day Pakistan. Pakistan is the world's largest producer of bagpipes. India and Pakistan both have nukes, but Russia has the most of any other country. Ukraine is where you can find Chernobyl, where a large nuclear explosion occurred. Want a tour? You'll need to apply for a permit to get into the exclusion zone. In Romania, there is a statue of the former Dacian ruler and ancestor of the Romanians. Sculpted over a period of 10 years, the statue is 55 metres, or 180 feet tall, and is the highest stone sculpture in Europe. The Hungarian language is said to be one of the hardest languages to learn. The language originates from the steppe of Central Asia, and the ancestors of the tribes who founded Hungary. It is part of the Uralic language family. Finnish is also part of the Uralic language family. Finland is the number one consumer of coffee in the world. Each person drinks on average four cups of coffee per day. Afghanistan is the largest producer of opium, the source of more than 90% of the world's supply. There were once two of the largest standing Buddha statues in the world. However, in 2001, the Taliban government destroyed them. But India has the Statue of Unity, the world's tallest statue. Height-wise, it's 182 metres, or nearly 600 feet tall, which is almost double the size of the Statue of Liberty. Sri Lanka had the world's first elected female head of government. Sri Lanka was once connected to India via a land bridge, but was destroyed by a cyclone in the 15th century. This time period also saw the arrival of Admiral Zhen He, a Chinese explorer who explored Vietnam, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Mecca and East Africa. China technically owns every panda in the world. The pandas are rented to zoos across the world for as much as $1 million per year. China once also had a pirate queen, Zhen Ji Sao, who commanded a fleet of about 600 ships and 60,000 men. She brought terror to the South China Sea. Somalia actually has a pirate stock exchange, which was founded in 2009. It opens 24 hours a day, and locals can get a cut of the spoils, 
by providing supplies, money or themselves to aid in pirate expeditions. This is Kenya, and nearly half of all its electricity comes from geothermal power plants. Sadly, due to poaching, there are now only two northern white rhinos remaining in the world. The mother and the daughter live under constant protection in Kenya's old Pejida Conservancy. Botswana has the largest population of elephants in Africa. It's also the largest producer of diamonds. The border between Botswana and Zambia is only 150 centimetres. Zambia's Victoria Falls is one of the world's largest waterfalls. Angel Falls in Venezuela is also quite stunning. Venezuela has the largest oil reserves of any country. But in Algeria, petrol is cheaper than water. Here you will also find the world's tallest minaret. The first and last monarch of Libya was known as King Idris I, becoming King of Libya in 1951 at the end of colonial rule. In 1969, he was deposed in a coup led by Colonel Gaddafi, who later succeeded him. Gaddafi ruled as dictator for 42 years. He served his country quite well, improving its health services to the level of being among the best in Africa. He increased Libya's rate of literacy from only 25% to 89% during his reign. But he also attempted to abolish the nation of Switzerland in 2009 by proposing a division between Italy, Germany and France. Switzerland produces one of the world's best chocolate. In fact, chocolate is a major export, with over 220,000 tonnes heading abroad in 2018. In the same year, formerly named Swaziland, switched its name, in part because the country was often confused with Switzerland. Eswatini, as it is now known, is the only absolute monarchy in Africa. Another country that changed its name recently was North Macedonia, which is the most mountainous country in Europe. Next door is Bulgaria. As confusing as it may sound, Bulgarians shake their head when they mean to say yes, and nod when they want to say no. The oldest gold artefacts in the world were found in Bulgaria, believed to be 7,000 years old. The richest monarch in the world can be found in Thailand. Wait, not that Thai, that Thai. Most people in Thailand own a motorbike. The country has the highest number of motorcycle deaths in the world. One place you would not want to drive though, is the Yungas Road in Bolivia. Bolivia is actually the only place in the world you will find ametrine, a gemstone mixture of amethyst and citrine, and it is only found in one mine. Peru has three quarters of the world's alpaca population. Alpacas and llamas were necessary for the construction of the city Machu Picchu, which was built by the Inca Empire in the 15th century, before the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors. Spanish is one of the most spoken languages in the world, with over 500 million speakers worldwide. In Spain, in a small village, they have an annual event where everyone throws tomatoes at each other. Spain is also the only European country to have a physical border with an African country. The city of Fez in Morocco was founded in the 9th century and is one of the oldest medieval cities. Morocco also has a valley dedicated to roses where three to 4,000 tonnes of wild roses are produced every year. But the Netherlands is the world's biggest flower exporter. You will also find the people here are the tallest in the world, with the average height for a Dutch man at 186 centimetres tall. There is a province called Zeeland, which is where the name New Zealand comes from. New Zealand became the first country to give women the right to vote in 1893. The country's landscapes are breathtaking. All but one scene from The Lord of the Rings was shot here. The first man to climb Mount Everest was from New Zealand. Nepal, which is a country in the Himalayas, is the only country whose flag looks like this. It's also the birthplace of the Buddha. Cambodia has the most Buddhists of any nation, and is home to the largest religious building in the entire world, Angkor Wat. Cambodia's flag is the only flag in the world to have a building on it. The flag of Malta has the George Cross. During World War II, Malta was heavily bombed, hence you can find lots of underwater shipwrecks and planes. In Granada there is an underwater sculpture park. The Marshall Islands have the world's first and largest shark sanctuary. The United States 
still controls the security and defense of the Marshall Islands. In the United States, in Hell Creek, Montana, the first skeleton of Tyrannosaurus rex was discovered in 1902. The US once invaded Panama, the only place in the world where you can see the sun rise on the Pacific and set on the Atlantic. Panama was also the first country outside of the United States where Coca-Cola was sold. Over 25% of Costa Rica's land is protected by 27 national parks. Kosovo, are you a country? Um, uh, maybe. Well, if you are, you're the second youngest country in the world, declaring independence from Serbia in 2008. Albania has 750,000 bunkers in the country, which was built during the rule of Enver Hoxha. When Montenegro became independent from Yugoslavia, their internet domain name changed from you to me. The ruler of Montenegro in 1767 gained power by pretending he was Tsar Peter III of Russia, who had actually died in 1762. Russia is the largest country in the world. In 1897, Russia sold Alaska to the United States for only $7.2 million. With inflation, that's around $120 million today. At the time, Russia needed the money, and there weren't many Russians living in Alaska. In 2013, a meteorite exploded in the atmosphere that produced 26 to 33 times as much energy as the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima. South Africa was the first nation to develop its own nuclear weapons and voluntarily dismantle them later on. And in 1994, they created the largest milkshake with 1,955 gallons of chocolate. However, they were beaten by the United States six years later. The US has the Grand Canyon, stretching 277 miles along the Colorado River. It's a geological marvel. No buildings are necessary here. Due to a decree by the Sultan of Oman, nearly all buildings in the country are coloured white. While most associate colonisation with Europeans, Oman colonised Zanzibar. Tanzania has the tallest mountain in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro. Tanzania also has African blackwood, which is one of the hardest and densest wood types in the world, mostly used for musical instruments. The steel pan, quite possibly, is the only instrument to be built from industrial waste. It originated in Trinidad and Tobago. The native Trinidad scorpion is regarded as one of the hottest chilies in the world. In Antigua and Barbuda, the island's highest peak was named Mount Obama, from 2009 to 2016. Interestingly, Antigua and Barbuda have the least amount of suicides in the world, whereas the highest is in Lesotho. Lesotho spends a higher proportion of its GDP on education than any other country in the world. It is a landlocked nation, much like Armenia. Armenia is the first Christian state, with the world's first church being built in the early 4th century. Bosnia and Herzegovina have the last remaining jungle in Europe. But Malaysia has one of the oldest rainforests in the world, as it has been around for 130 million years. More than a thousand years ago, the Banja people from the island of Borneo sailed 7,000 kilometres across the Indian Ocean and colonised Comoros and Madagascar. Madagascar is the only place on Earth to find lemurs. Approximately 95% of Madagascar's reptiles, 89% of its plant life, and 92% of its mammals exist nowhere else on Earth. The long extinct dodo bird was from Mauritius, with the main island of Mauritius being the only known habitat for the flightless bird. But Cuba is home to the world's smallest bird, the bee hummingbird. This beautiful little creature weighs less than a tenth of an ounce and is just two and a half inches long. In Germany, archaeologists discovered Archaeopteryx, the first ever bird. Germany once had a colonial empire, who controlled most of modern-day Namibia. The name of the country is derived from the Nambi Desert, the oldest desert in the world. In the country of Palau, there are jellyfish that have evolved without stingers, after the lake's connection to the sea closed. Nairu is the least visited country in the world, with less than a thousand visitors a year. Is Taiwan a country? 
If it is, it's the most mountainous island nation in the world. It's also the homeland of the Austronesian people, who migrated thousands of years ago to all of these different places. Palestine, are you a country also? Mm, it depends who you ask. During the Umayyad Caliphate, the dome with a rock was constructed. It was the first dome to have been used in Islamic architecture. One of the oldest cities in the world is Petra in Jordan. Only 15% of Petra has been explored. The ancient site remained unknown to the Western world until 1812, when a Swiss explorer stumbled across it. Switzerland is a neutral country, just like Andorra, who have not been at war for over a thousand years. Andorra is a co-principality. They have two princes who jointly share the title of prince, one from France and the other from Spain. Andorra is one of the few countries without a currency or a national bank, and it does not have an airport. In 2020, Poland put a ban on flights to Andorra due to COVID-19, but later repealed the ban, realising they did not have an airport. Estonia was the first country to let people vote online. It took place in 2005, which also gave the country a good reputation for being digitally advanced. There are 1,500 islands, 1,000 lakes, and 7,000 rivers in Estonia. It's a similar size to the Netherlands, who once had a colonial empire. Suriname was one of the Dutch colonies in South America. In Guyana, materials are hard to come by. So to fight illegal logging of their land, an indigenous community of over 9,000 people built a drone by watching YouTube tutorials. The intention was to film illegal activities and report it to the authorities. Burundi is officially the world's poorest nation, with a GNI per capita at only $270. Malawi is also an incredibly poor country. The president of 2013, Joyce Banda, sold the country's luxurious private jet for $15 million and slashed her own salary by 30% to raise funds for the country's struggling economy. Rwanda not only has a ban of plastic bags and packaging material, but locals also take part in a monthly cleanup. It involves everything from rehabilitating forests and wetlands to building schools and hospitals. Ecuador was the first country in the world to recognise the rights of nature, and it also highlighted the responsibility of government to step in and protect nature. Colombia is the second most diverse country in the world after only Brazil, which is 10 times its size, and one of only 17 megadiverse countries. It has the highest number of species by area in the world, including more species of bird than all of Europe and North America combined. Cuba has a long tradition of producing high-quality rum and cigars, using techniques honed over the centuries. The CIA once tried to assassinate Fidel Castro by sending him an exploding cigar. Uganda has the largest number of primates in the world, including the endangered mountain gorilla. If you are in Kenya, you might come into contact with the Maasai, a semi-nomadic, pastoral, indigenous tribe. They practice singing and dancing ceremonies, but their best known is a jumping dance, where they can jump insanely high. Kenya is more than double the size of the entire Korean peninsula, and its population closely matches that of South Korea, Ireland is the same size as South Korea, but its population is only 5 million. There are actually more Irish people outside of Ireland than in Ireland. As of today, Ireland is the most successful country in the Eurovision Song Contest. Speaking of singing, Uruguay has the world's longest national anthem. Argentina has the southernmost city in the world, and it's also the birthplace of the tango dance. Paraguay once went to war with Argentina, Uruguay, and Brazil. The president refused to surrender, and is the only president ever to die in battle. His pride led to around 90% of Paraguay's male population being killed. Israel once offered the presidency to Albert Einstein. The Dead Sea is a salt lake, which lies 420 metres below sea level. Because of the amount of salt in the water, it's almost 10 times saltier than the ocean. Senegal has a lake that is naturally pink, Lake Rose. Its salt is also 10 times saltier than the ocean. 
a local botanist discovered a rare tree in Guinea. There are actually four countries in the world with the word Guinea in their name. Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Equatorial Guinea, and Papua New Guinea. Despite the name's prevalence, it's unclear where the name Guinea originates. Guinea-Bissau is one of the top five cashew nut producers in the world, whereas Equatorial Guinea has the world's largest frog. Papua New Guinea has the most languages in the world with over 800 languages. It also has one of the only known poisonous birds. Its feathers carry one of the most powerful toxins known to science. The Portuguese were the first Europeans to explore Papua New Guinea. The borders of the nation of Portugal were defined in the 12th century, making it one of the oldest nations in the world. Its borders have largely not changed since its inception. The Anglo-Portuguese alliance is also the oldest political alliance in the world. The oldest university in the world is in Oxford, England. It was built even before the rise of the Aztec Empire. Also in England, there is an annual cheese rolling competition. From the top of a hill, a round of Gloucestershire cheese is sent rolling down the hill. Competitors then start racing down the hill after the cheese. The first person over the finish line at the bottom of the hill wins the cheese. The cheese slicer was invented in Norway. There is actually a football stadium in Norway, which overlooks the beautiful Norwegian sea. In Iran, there is a statue of Hercules that is carved into a mountain that dates to 153 BC. Iran had the deadliest blizzard in history, a week long of low temperatures and severe winter storms, which resulted in the deaths of 4,000 people. Bangladesh gets the most floods in the world, but it's also where you can find the world's largest population of the endangered Bengal tigers and the largest mangrove forest. In Bahrain, you can find the Tree of Life. Planted in the 16th century, this tree has no water sources, as it was planted in the desert, but still stands in full green bloom. Kuwait once pledged $500 million in humanitarian aid to the United States in response to Hurricane Katrina. You've heard of Mount Rushmore. Well, currently under construction is the Crazy Horse Memorial, a mountain monument on privately held land in the Black Hills. It will depict the Oglala Lakota warrior Crazy Horse, riding a horse and pointing to his tribal land. Did you also know? The US military budget is 800 billion. There are roughly 750 US military bases across the world, spread across 80 nations. This is three times as many bases as all other countries combined. Laos is the most bombed country in the world. The US bombings dropped more than 2 million tons of ordnance during the Vietnam War. That's equal to a payload every 8 minutes for 9 years. Despite being landlocked, Laos has one of the fastest growing economies in Asia. Zimbabwe is also landlocked, and used to have a strong economy. Zimbabwe experienced a period of hyperinflation, spanning a few decades, that culminated in 2008 with the introduction of a $100 trillion banknote. Zimbabwe unearthed the remains of Africa's oldest dinosaur, which lived more than 230 million years ago. Despite what you might think of Jurassic Park, it was not filmed in Costa Rica. In Costa Rica, the armed forces were abolished in 1949, after a bloody civil war that lasted 44 days. The military budget was used to create an army of teachers with a universal public education system that saw a literacy rate of 97%. Iceland is also a country that does not have a standing army, but instead maintains a small coastal guard. Iceland does not have a McDonald's. But did you know that Guatemala is where the McDonald's Kids Happy Meal originated? The original meal consisted of a small burger, small fries, a small soda, and a small sundae. Guatemala is one of the two countries in the world whose flag features a firearm on it. The other is Mozambique. Mozambique has the largest marine reserve in Africa. It was also once a colony of the Portuguese Empire, much like Angola whose giant sable antelopes were supposedly extinct, but have recently made a revival. In 2003, two men boarded a Boeing 727 plane in Angola, and they managed to fly off. 
neither of the men nor the aircraft have ever been seen since. Did you know the famous French croissant is not actually French? It actually comes from Austria. In Austria, you can find the largest ice cave in the world. And it's also where they found Otzi the Iceman, a natural mummy frozen in ice who lived during the Copper Age in 3000 BC. In 1892, there was a topless sword duel between the Princess of Liechtenstein and an Austrian Countess, due to a dispute over a flower arrangement. Liechtenstein and Haiti showed up to the 1936 Olympics with the exact same flag. Both had been using the same flag for decades, without the knowledge of the similarity. Voodoo is an officially recognised religion in Haiti. The Dominican Republic has some of the world's richest deposits of amber. However, Myanmar is the world's ruby capital, with more than 90% of the world's rubies. The country is also home to the world's largest cut ruby, which weighs 1,184 carats, not as rare as the meteorite originating from Phobos, one of the moons of Mars, which struck a military base in Yemen. It contains a mineral not found anywhere else on Earth. 